well guys it's kq we're back in another video and he me giving you guys this completely free trimp off pack that me mogul and pulse just made you can find the download link in the description there's a twitter link let's do all the steps and then wait for access and now i'm going to be showing you how to make your own trim pass and how to customize the trim off pack so let's get right into it all right so the first thing you want to do is import your trim pass and now you have it here so you have letters it don't these so the first thing we'll do is going to make our own name so let's say our name was joe's joe joe said joe's all right i don't know why i chose that name but yeah so we're going to use the font vertica because that is the font you can find it as well and the font the default font size for this font is 250 but we don't want that we, we are gonna use 200 for this so we're just gonna go and center it and now what I'd like to do is add a fill to this so I'm gonna go to my effects controls search fill just drag it on and it will make it red you don't need to change the color and let's just find the corresponding letters so let's drag on J Let's go to a second in where it's fully animated. Now all we need to do is move it across and then scale it down. So it's just as easy as that. So I think it's 80. That's a perfect size for from 250 to 200. And so 80 is fine. And we're gonna go and do the rest. So O, make it 80, move across. So 80 might be fine for me, but it might be different for you depending on what font size you want. So you just change it accordingly and then let's do E. Also make that AT and move it across. And for the Z or Z and the Americans, you can also make that AT and move it all the way across. Alright, so once we have this all centered and then we hide this layer, we have our drum boss looking nice and clean and then we can do further animations if we wanted to so we could just position this if we wanted to so let's see I've moved it from up here let's do a quick little throw off and so just saying as an example you don't have to do that so you can do whatever you want with these and yeah so what we're gonna do next is show you how to make your own trim pass so I'm just gonna make a new composition and let's use a font called let's just keep using uh, called Vertica actually all right so we're gonna use a font size of 350 just to make it a bit more visible for you guys and so the first thing you want to do is find out where you want to start on your letter so you, we can either start from here or start from here i would prefer to start here so you just want to press g on your keyboard and go up here to the pen tool and then make sure you have your fill off so just click where it says fill and make that off and the strokes make it like of any color I choose red and then the stroke size doesn't matter for now we're gonna change it after we do our first two points so first thing you want to do is click and drag at the starting point so click and drag like this and hold shift to make it straight then we're gonna do it on the next point here so it will be different for you so it'll be different for every letter and different fonts so just like that and then what we're gonna do now is change the stroke width to make it fit so let's I'd say that looks fine then we're gonna go to our next point which will be up here let's go to the last point up here and it's a bit too high let's drag it down but even though it doesn't do anything it's just useful and move this across using our arrow keys and that first bit looks fine <coughs> now for the second bit gonna put it on a separate shape layer and we're just gonna go around so click and drag and then move it around to make it curved and we're gonna do that for the second point up here if you're wondering how I'm moving it like so how I'm moving you just press H on your keyboard for the hand tool or you can go up here and do that so yeah and then we're gonna make this a little bit bigger and then we're gonna end it off here and just gonna move it like that and then we're done so now what we're gonna do is add trim paths so we're gonna go down here add trim paths open this and start at zero and then just depending on what you want to do say you can either do like i usually do 25 or one second i'm gonna do one second just for the sake of it being easier so just 
put that all the way up and then you want to easy ease them so either pressing f9 or right clicking keyframe assistant easy ease and now you want to select one keyframe and then go into the graph editor which is right up here <coughs> so it just looks like this now you can either pick between using speed graph or value graph either works it's fine so i'll just use speed graph because it looks easier and it's easier to understand and what we're gonna do now is since we have two points we want this to connect when this goes all the way over just like here so here's 11 frames it will be different for you depending on your letter and your font and the space in between the keyframes so yeah we're gonna have it at here and this is where we want to start our second one so we're gonna do that again add trim paths open this to zero and we're gonna end at 105 just five frames after this looks better i guess then same graph and let's watch it back that looks nice so now we need to add motion blur so just add motion blur on both of these layers it's this little thing here and then we need to make this just the cover like instead of having being red we need the white to be like this layer so what we're gonna do is select our shape layers we're gonna select them both and you want to right click pre-compose and then i personally like to call these letters so i'll just put gg two of them and then the last thing you want to do is you want to track mat it so for alpha mat and if you don't have that you want to go down here in the bottom left this second one here click it make sure it's selected just like this so it'll be blue for you or purple or whatever color you have your after effects if you want to know how to do your after effects a different color i'll put a thing in the top right or i will put it in the description one of the two so once you've done that and you have it here you want to go to where it says none you want to click on it and put it on alpha mat and once you've done that you're chilling and you have your own trim path also if you want to do these different trim path animation styles that you've done on the screen make sure to go cop my premium version of my motion design impact has everything you need to start making items and yeah so that is basically the end of the video thank you for watching drop a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed or you will use these turn on my notifications so you don't miss another upload follow my twitter and instagram for more posts and also i made a tiktok so my tiktok will be in the description as well and i also made a discord server for you guys to hang out and ask stuff about editing and motion design so if you want to ask me any questions and you don't want to do it in the comments you can go in the discord and yeah thank you for watching everybody and goodbye